So here we are at the VMware download page. Now the version of VMware that I'm particularly interested in is what used to be called ESXi, uh, which is the free version. They now call it the VMware vSphere Hypervisor, although they still refer to it as ESXi. So click, click it on the download page. Uh, it's version 5 is the one we're after. Now you'll need to check the hardware compatibility guide, which you can see here, um, to make sure that your server supports it. So for instance, if I just open this up and then um, let's do a quick, um, let's just specify Dell, Dell, and then I'll put in 1950. There we go. So we've got the um, Dell PowerEdge 1950 here and you can see ESXi, ESXi 5 is supported on all of the different versions. So regardless of generation, whether it's a generation one or generation three server. Now, if you're running something like an HP DL380 G4, um, you won't be able to run version five. In fact, you might not even be able to run version four. You might have to stick with 3.5, which is getting a bit long in the tooth now. Um, and that's because uh, the G4 servers don't support the Intel virtual technology extensions, which is an option in the BIOS I mentioned earlier, which is really critical. To, support, uh, to turn on. <clears throat> right, so I'm going to click on the download link and kick this off. So I will have to log in. Uh, let's have a look. So I have an account. I've not used it for a while. So hopefully it's still valid. Let's try that. Here we go. Yep, I agree. You can have my firstborn. I don't want them. That's a little bit like the Apple agreements. Okay. Uh, God, bloody hell, where are we? Update 1 CD ISO. That's probably what we want, isn't it? Requires 64 bit capable servers. Well, that's my 1950. Uh, I've got VMware tools. Oh, and the vSphere client. I'm going to want that as well because um, that's the management client that you need. So, uh, not tried the download manager. Let's give that a go. Start download manager. Oh, here we go. Another ActiveX control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run, run, run. <laughs> oh dear. Install this add-on. This is probably one of the reasons why Internet Explorer is so unsafe. Does anybody ever read anything? You just click install. Okay, so it's asking me for the download location. I'm going to stick this on my NAS. Um, this is my HP micro server. Server folders, downloads. Um, I should have a directory for VMware. There it is. VMware, let's pop it in ESX. Save. Okay, it's only about 300 megs, so that's okay. So whilst that's running, let's kick off the, uh, <coughs> the vSphere. Um, the vSphere client, let's kick that off. at the same place and I'll tell you what let's have the VMware Tools CD as well what the hell you never know, could be useful uh, we'll stick that in the same location ok so that's downloading now does it tell me the sort of throughput I'm getting not really just gotta wait, so I'll, I'll uh, do another video when that's finished. <laughs> 